Thank you for picking Prairie Chic Boutique. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the In The Hoop Minnie Mouse inspired coin purse. On top of that, I'm show you how you can personalize it if you have software capabilities at home. Just a heads up, this first part is optional where I am gonna personalize my design. It will not come like this. So what I mean by that is I am using this software, embroidery software called Embrilliance, and I'm gonna open up what you would get at home if you purchase this design. So I'm gonna click open, and I am going to find my um, design. I have a Brother PE770 embroidery machine. Um, because of that, I need to use the PES filing format. And this is kind of a quick little outline of what it looks like. So I'm going to hit open, and there it is. Um, some quick notes about this design is right here is zipper placement. And this is very important because I cannot have any um, part of my personalization go between these two yellow lines. So I'm actually going to personalize this for my daughter. So I'm going to click this A, and I am going to type her name. Now, I'm actually going to change the font. I really like this font by Designs by Juju. Um, it is called, let's see what it is. Let's see. It's Latte something. Oh, Skinny Latte right here. And I think I'm going to use three quarters of an inch. And again, like I said, cannot go beyond this yellow line. I also don't want it to hit this um, bow because this will be a nice satin stitch. I'm also going to make sure that I, oh, look at that. I'm already in the middle. Now, an important step to not forget is where the, um, when this will be embroidered on the actual, when you actually start creating it. It cannot be last because there will be a fabric piece that goes over it and you would just ruin the entire project if you did that. Instead, I think a good spot would be right after I embroider the bow. So I'm gonna move it right there. And I wanna make sure that I have it placed in the right spot. So I'm actually gonna do a quick little preview of my design. So here it is. Um, this first one is a placement stitch. So that is the placement stitch for the zipper. Here is the tack down stitch. So the yellow is the tack down stitch for the zipper. This next one is the position stitch for the top fabric. The next one, which is doing it right now, which is gonna be yellow again, that is basically the tack down of the top fabric. And then of course the tack, the, the black outline again is to tack down the um, top fabric. Here at the bottom right here is going to be the placement stitch for the bottom half. The yellow again is to tack it down on the zipper. The black again is to um, tack down the rest of the fabric. Here is going to be, this pink right here is gonna be the tack down for the bow. And it, I do ha have it, so this is now to put, the, so there was the placement stitch and now the red part is going to be the tack down of the bow. And then of course, I'm gonna do the embellishments, which looks great. The satin stitch right there looks really good. Let's see here. So all of this part right up to this point is included, okay? So the part that is not included in your, if you purchased my design, is this right here, the personalization part. And so you can do this at home if you have the capabilities. I'm putting, like I said, my daughter's name. Make sure if you do do it, it goes above this yellow line. And the last step that will be included regardless if you um, personalize it or not is this very last stitch right here. And it is to tack down the back piece. And so you can see, here I'll go a little slower. See it is going all the way, oh, that's a little too slow gonna go all the way around the design just like that and I'll do it twice just to give it a really strong stitch so once you are satisfied with it I'm satisfied with it I might just put it a little closer up there okay um, I'm going to go up to file save stitch file as 
and I'm going to save it as, of course, PS because that's what my file format is. And then I'll save it onto my jump disc that I will insert into my embroidery machine. And that is how easy it is to personalize this Minnie Mouse coin purse. Now let's go over to my work table and I have laid out all the materials that will be needed to make this coin purse. I'm not going to go through them right now. When you purchase the design, I go into detail what you need and the dimensions along with step-by-step -step how to create this with colored pictures. After cutting out your materials, take your 5x7 hoop or larger and insert the tearaway stabilizer. Make sure it is nice and taut. Prep the fabric by either ironing the fabric or using a heat press like me. In order to strengthen this coin purse, add interfacing to the fabric. Shiny side will go down and then either use a heat press or an iron to heat it on. Insert your embroidery hoop into your embroidery machine and click the next first stitch. This will be the placement stitch for your zipper. Pay close attention to the center stitch that your zipper should line up to that. So take your zipper and carefully place it in there. As you can see, your zipper can definitely be longer, but make sure that it is it goes past that placement stitch. Use either painter's tape or scotch tape to tape it down well. Stitch the next step. This stitch is important because it keeps your zipper in place. The next stitch will outline your first fabric. This fabric will go in the front and it is in the shape of Minnie's ears. Take your first top fabric that will be in the front of your bag, place it facing the right side facing down, the interfacing side facing up. Make sure it goes over the zipper. This first stitch will tack it down. Once you tack it down, you are going to carefully fold over the fabric. Make sure you crease it with your fingers. Run the next stitch. This will be the outline of Minnie's ears and it will keep your fabric in place. The next stitch will stitch the position stitch for the next bottom piece of the front fabric. Like before, place the right side of the fabric down, interfacing up, and begin stitching. When it has stitched through, fold it and create a nice crease with your fingers before clicking the next stitch. Now we will begin creating the, the outline for the bow to prepare the applique. Take your bow fabric 
and place it over the outline. Make sure the right side of the fabric is facing up. Now take sharp scissors and carefully cut around the applique. Cut in small increments. This makes it get closer to the shape. Place your embroidery hoop back in your machine and stitch the next stitch. This will be the embellishments on the bow and it will also outline the bow in a satin stitch. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this step is purely optional and does not come included with your purchase. But if you choose to personalize your coin purse, this is when it should be stitched right after we do the satin bow stitch. Again, I want to give credit to Designs by Juju for this font that I used. This next step is so important. Make sure you open up the zipper and place it in the middle of the design. If you fail to do this, you will not be able to turn it inside out. And essentially, you would have to open up your stitches in the next step. So again, make sure you open up the zipper and place it in the middle. You will need tape for this next step. What you're going to do is take the ribbon and fold it in half and then you are going to put the raw edges outside of your design. Decide where you want it. I suggest putting it on the left, uh, left side of the ear, but again raw edges on the outside. Use the tape and tape it down. Make sure the tape is on the outside of the design as well. Grab the remaining fabric. Notice the right side and the back side. The back side should have interfacing. The right side would be the one that you wanted to show. Grab your other six by six that does not have interfacing and you're gonna put wrong sides to wrong sides. So that interfacing should be in the middle. Then carefully place it over your design. Make sure it covers the entire uh, design. So when it stitches, nothing is left out. If you are worried about movement when you are stitching the final stitch on the machine, you can use some extra tape and tape it down. I just choose to use this. I don't have to worry about it so much. Kind of a peace of mind. This last stitch will outline your entire design. It is very important to do and it's really quick. We are all done with the embroidery machine. This next step is to remove all the extra um, the stabilizer and to carefully cut around the outline. Make sure you get as close as possible without cutting the stitches. Then turn it around and remove all the tearaway stabilizer from the back and remove any excess strings that could get caught in the zipper. This last step is to carefully turn it inside out. Be careful with this. I recommend using either like a pen or a dowel to push out the edges. Take your time here because it is time a little bit more time consuming because the fabric is thick from the interfacing, but it is definitely worth it if you take your time. Second, when you're all done, Make sure you press it or iron it to give those smooth edges. And here is the final product.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you. Happy crafting, friends.